Time now for the I-14 Sports Report, heard every Thursday night right here on KNCT-FM 91.3 and on KNCT.org, public radio for Central Texas. You can also hear it on various podcast platforms. Just search the letter I, the number 14, sports, and you will find out all that we do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even uh, all the new stuff. Yeah, threads. We're on threads now, too. <laughs> KNCT. Uh, is not far behind. I-14 Sports. Uh, look forward on all social media platforms. We're making sure we cover these kids great. Less than uh, about a month away from football season. Into August, we're starting football. Football games. I will be uh, roaming the sidelines again this year. Uh, getting up-to-date quarterly reports, uh, post-game interviews, halftime interviews, interviews of all kinds, plus stats and scores and updates and more. It's all coming your way on I-14 Sports. In fact, we're looking for some folks to help us out. If you would like to help us out at I-14 Sports, you can contact me at 254-291-9453 or send an email to i14sportsinfo at gmail.com and help us bring you our 29th year of KISD football. And uh, Dan Hall and... uh, of course, my my right hand right hand man will be there with me. Also, uh, Charles Wilson taking all those pictures. He'll be looking for us on the sidelines this year again. If you want to help us out, like I said, give us a holler and uh, send us a message. Whatever we would love to have some more folks help us out. Hey, I, I was over uh, last Saturday uh, doing a little signing. Yeah, three star recruit Malika Squera. The linebacker from Shoemaker High School, class of 24, committed uh, Saturday, live on I-14 Sports. Yep, he had a chance, uh, a choice, I should say, between uh, Oregon State, TCU, OSU, um, also Nebraska or Texas Tech. He chose to go to Texas Tech and play for Joey McGuire. So congratulations uh, to him with that move to uh, to uh, go to Texas Tech, and that was a pretty neat thing to be a part of. And as you didn't hear, it was a quite a quite a big party that he had over there as he announced his decision to go to play at Texas Tech. Congratulations to Malika Square. Looking forward to seeing you in the future, buddy. Also, co- former Colleen Kangaroo, king of the state of Texas coaches. You tell me better. You tell me uh, different, and I'll, I'll fight you. I tell you what. He has so many titles. I think eight or nine titles, state titles. Tim Buchanan, former Colleen Kangaroo, and uh, coach at Alito High School. Kind of built that place. Um, he was honored at the Texas High School Coaches Association convention last week, or earlier this week, I should say. Added to the wall of honor of Texas High School Coaches. Congratulations to Tim Buchanan going in with some pretty good company there. I want to say hello to the brand new basketball coach at Harker Heights High School, Jarrell Chumley. And he is going to be the new coach there. Has a wealth of experience and championship knowledge. Eight years in coaching, three as head coach. And he is known as an offensive expert. Discipline play, relationship building, and establishing program culture and excellence all in his vocabulary. That's what he does. Coach Chumley is familiar with the athletic success. Being part of three basketball district championships during his coaching career at South Grand Prairie. One big there. So, welcome Coach Chumley. Looking forward to seeing you, brother. And at the Texas High School Coaches Association Convention, we had some great guys. David Wetzel, former coach at Ellison at one time. Then he was head coach at Colleen High School. Went on to coach in San Antonio and win a state title there and has been at Baylor University ever since. He had his coaching tree. All the guys that have coached with him over the years at the convention and you look at the picture and who do you see in there? Neil Searcy and you also see uh, our coach uh, from out at uh, Chaparral, Mr. Alan Hare in that coaching tree as well as many, many others. What a great guy uh, David Wetzel is. Don't forget about the uh, high school readiness days going on. Contact your local high school for more information about those. High school readiness days coming up before you know it. Kind of getting ready for high school, all right? 
Uh, softball camp going on this next week at Harker Heights from 9 to 11, 24th, 25th, and 26th. Grades K through 8 softball camp at Harker Heights. For more information, you can visit their uh, website, all right, and they'll tell you all the information about that. Don't forget to join us at the 5th Annual Bill Yow Sporting Clays Charity Classic for KISD. More information available at the KISD website. And we do have a few baseball games left on the old schedule. Um, but not many. Check our Facebook schedule for our page for more information. I think Harker Rice is going to take on a Vega on the 25th. And uh, Chaparral is going to take on Gerald on the 25th. The 26th will be uh, Milano at Shoemaker and Temple at Harker Heights Red. So those are the games we got coming up in the future here. Um, also, let's tell you about those uh, physicals. So you got to get them done, guys. Uh, contact your coaches at your school. Contact KIC. Check out the athletic page. You need to get your physicals before you can play football. Also, youth sports going on. Uh, signing up for the football and soccer and stuff that starts in September. You can find out more information about that at the YMCA, the Armed Services YMCA in the Colleen area. Thanks for listening to the show. Tell a friend about us. We'll be back next week with more sports news and lots more on I-14 Sports Network. As I said, if you want to help us out with our football season this year, send me a text to I-14SportsInfo at gmail.com or send me a message to 254 254- 291-9453 and we will take care of that alright as always take care of yourself and take each other and be and stay cool man it is so hot out there so take care of each other check on your neighbor and stay cool we'll talk to you next week bye bye you are watching I-14 Sports Network